hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the full stack api to increase the product quantity in the cart and in today's video we will create the full stack api to decrease the product quantity in the cart and after that in the spring boot application we will create the api to place the order so let's get started so as you can see i am in the cart service implementation and here we need to copy this increase product quantity method and we need to paste it here one time and after this we need to update the name of the method to decrease product quantity and here in this method everything will be the same like we are getting the active cart the product and the cart item from our repository and after that we are checking if the product and the cart item is present then we are calculating the amount and the total amount of the order and then we are increasing the quantity as well and at the end we are checking if there is any coupon then we are calculating the amount after the discount the only change we need to do here is to replace this plus sign with the minus sign so we can subtract the amount of the product which user want to decrease and we need to replace this plus sign as well with the minus one and after this in this set quantity method we need to decrease the quantity by one which we can achieve by replacing the plus sign with the minus and our decrease product quantity function is ready now let's copy this and mention in the cart service and after this let's go to our cart controller and here we need to copy the existing addition endpoint and we can paste it here and here we need to update the url from addition to deduction and then we need to update the method call to decrease product quantity and we can copy this and we can update the method name as well our decrease product quantity api is ready now let's run our backend application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors now let's go to the angular application and let's call this api in our angular application we need to go to the customer service and here we can follow the same process we need to copy this increase product quantity api and we need to paste it one time and after this we need to update the method name to decrease product quantity and then we need to update the url as well and instead of the addition we will write deduction now let's save this file and we will go to the cart.component.ts and here we need to copy the method which is increase quantity and then we need to update the method name to decrease quantity and here we need to update the method call to decrease product quantity of our customer service and after this in the message we will update the increased with decreased now let's save this file and let's go to the card.component.html file and here we can copy this code and we can paste it here for the remove circle outline and instead of increase quantity we will call decrease quantity on the click of this button now let's save this file and let's run our angular application and as you can see our application is up on 4200 now let's go to the browser and let's validate this decrease quantity functionality and after the login we can click on this card button and here on the card page we need to click on this button and as you can see we got the message product quantity decreased and you can see here the product quantity got updated and our amount got updated as well now let's go to the backend application 
and let's create the API for the place order. So to create the place order API, first of all, we need to create a DTO for the place order and we can right click on this DTO package and here we need to create a new Java class and we can name this class as place order DTO. After creating the class, we need to annotate this with at the rate data annotation so we can get the getters and setters and the first property we need to mention here is private long user id after the user id we will get the address and this will be of type string and after the address we will mention a property order description our place order dto is ready now let's go to the cart service implementation and here we need to write an other method and we need to mention the return type as order DTO and we need to name this method as place order and in the params of this method we will get place order DTO. Now in this method first of all we need to get the active order of the user and for that we can copy this method from our decrease product quantity method and we can paste it here and here we need to update this add product in card DTO to place order DTO and after this we need to get the user so we can create one variable of type optional and we can set this value in it by calling user repository dot find by id and here we need to pass the user id which we can get from place order dto dot get user id and after this we will write one if condition here and in this if condition we will check optional user dot is present and if the user is not present then we will return null and if the user is present then we will update the details in the active order and to do that we need to call active order dot set order description and we can get this from our place order DTO dot get order description and after this we need to set the address of the user so we can call dot set address and we can use place order DTO dot get address and after this we need to set the date in the order and for this we can call dot set date method and here we can create new date and after the date we need to update the order status and we can call set order status method and here we need to use our order status enum and we will choose placed status and after the order status we need to set the tracking id in our order so we can use dot set tracking id method and in this method we will create new uuid by using uuid dot random uuid method and after this we will call order repository dot save method and we will pass active order and after saving the order we need to create a new card for the user and for that we can go to this auth service implementation and here in the create user method we already have the code to create the new cart so we can copy this code and we can come back to our cart service implementation and we can paste it here and here in the set user method we need to pass optional user dot get and at the end we will write a written statement and we will use active order dot get dto to convert this active order to the dto now we can uh, copy this and we can paste it here in our card service now let's go to our card controller and let's create the endpoint and to create the endpoint we can copy our decrease product quantity api and we can paste it here and for the url we will update this to place order and for the method name we will update this to place order as well and instead of add product in card dto we will get 
place order detail in the request body and we will import this class here and we need to update the method call to place order and we will pass our place order DTO our place order API is completed now let's run our application again and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and that's it for this video in the next video we will write the code to call this place order api from our angular application